Hey everybody, welcome back to episode three of the wood rod at the gutter. Uh, what you hope for when you start to digging in here and finding out what you got is that the wood rod is only at the, the fascia, but in this case it got into the subfascia. And let me just sort of explain how things are put together so you can understand. This right here is the rafter tail. This is a two by eight, by the way. This is what's called the subfascia. That's attached to the rafter tail. And if we look at it from this direction, we can see this is the two by, two by eight. And then this is the fascia that attaches to that. Uh, so in this case, the situation is most of the uh, subfascia is intact, so there's no structural integrity loss or anything like that. And even though it's not pretty, I've dug out most of the wood rot, and then what I'm going to do is attach, a, or a scab on they call it, a piece of one by four pressure treated along here so that I have a nailer so that I can piece in some of the some subfascia so that I have something to nail or screw uh, some new fascia to and I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about okay here we are looking back toward the corner and I've done the same thing here. I've dug out the rod and stuff, and you can see that, you know, uh, at least two thirds or more actually of the subfascia is, is just fine. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna scab on a piece right here. And incidentally, I'm gonna use pressure treated on everything that I replace so that it doesn't rot out. I'm going to do the same thing here, get that tacked in place. Then I've got something to nail my pieces of subfascia that I work in, and then in turn, something to nail my fascia into. The reason I'm doing it this way, by the way, uh, rather than just removing the whole thing, is that the time to do that in this case is when the screen cage is removed uh, and actually I've thought about replacing the screen cage because it is an old style and uh, at that point what I'll do once the old screen cage is out of the way I'll come back in here I'll cut that out and uh, do it uh, do it the right way not that this is wrong but uh when you're working at it from behind it makes it very very difficult so the second best thing is to do what i'm doing here and uh we'll kind of show you as we're going along here now to give you a better idea of what i'm doing uh i've got my one by four scabbed on i've screwed it in all along there and then I've taken my chisel and I've cleaned out enough of that sufficient to and this is just an example just a block of two well, two by two and again pressure treated and that'll get attached along there and then I've got something to attach my my fascia to and again, this is just a sample block. I'm using it to get the spacing right when I've chiseled that out there. Yep. And again, it'll all be pressure treated, including the fascia when I'm done. But that's where we're at. For those of you following along with the wood rod at the gutter, uh, you can see I've got my scab on there. It's a one by four and on there and then and by the way you see this reveal here that was my mistake i i set the uh bottom edge of the scab on to the end of the rafter tail without paying attention that the 
the actual subfascia was just a wee bit lower than that. Uh, so when I put the the uh, subfascia add-on, I lowered it just a bit. But uh, don't pay much attention to that. Stop looking at it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've got that on and uh, it's two by material and I've screwed that in so that's not going anywhere and now we've got something we can attach our fascia to and uh, and incidentally this will get cleaned up here too uh, but uh, coming right along <laughs> 